So, I really don't have like a script or a plan for this video. We're just gonna go for it. Seven or eight years ago, I got into endurance sports. Did my first sprint triathlon, did a couple Olympics, half Ironman, and then in 2016, did my first Ironman. At the same time, I was also getting involved in trail running, and I did my first ultra in 2015. It was a 50 miler. Really got hooked on ultras. 2017, I did the Grindstone 100. At the time, that was the hardest thing I had ever done. Running 100 miles through the mountains in Virginia, it was a hard one. <laughs> a lot of people ask me why I picked Grindstone 100 for my first 100. I wanted to do a fall 100. This one is in October, usually. I knew it was hard, I wanted to do something hard. I wanted to start right off the bat getting a hard rock qualifier. That's what this was. In 2018, I did Run Rabbit Run. This one was absolutely incredible. Going out to Colorado, being paced by my buddy Matt, running through the Rocky Mountains, just epic. Also a hard rock qualifier. So after finishing both of these, I didn't really know what I wanted to do for this coming year. We talked about not doing a big trip. Kind of got down a little bit, honestly. So I was thinking, okay, let's look in the Midwest. The closest one is the Indiana Trail 100. I've been to that twice. I volunteered and paced, and then I also did some course monitoring. But after doing Grindstone and Run Rabbit Run, Honestly, nothing in the Midwest really scared me. So that's when I started thinking about what scares me. And on the way to Leadville, John and I were in the truck and he was telling me just about all the races that he's done. He was telling me about this slam, which is running a bunch of hundreds all in the same year and completing this big challenge that's called a slam or a Grand Slam, or a Super Slam. And that really fascinated me. This was on the way to Leadville. I had Run Rabbit Run coming up in a couple weeks. I was wanting to maybe go out west again, maybe the Pacific Northwest, maybe do something in the south, maybe travel overseas. Basically never even thought about it again. Until really the options of going out west fell through, I never even thought about doing something like this. It just stuck in my head and it kept coming back. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do the Midwest Super Slam of ultra running. That's five 100 mile races in 2019, all within f less than four months of each other. So what are these races? First one is the Kettle 100 up in Wisconsin. The Kettle 100 hasn't really sold out very fast in the past. This whole thing was just basically like in its infancy. I knew I wanted to do it, but we hadn't even really talked about it. And then all of a sudden, 24 hours after registration opened for the Kettle 100, it was almost sold out. So I just signed up. <laughs> I knew that my goal was to do the Midwest Slam. That was one of the races. And if it sells out, like you're screwed, like you can't do it. So I signed up for Kettle 100 back on January 2nd. A couple people messaged me saying that they saw my name on there. So that's the first race. And then two weeks after is the Mohican 100. In Ohio. Two weeks! Mohican 100 in Ohio. It's in the middle of June. Typically very, very hot race. Very high DNF rate because of the heat and humidity. And I'll be doing this one two weeks after running 100 miles up in Wisconsin. So after the Mohican 100, I have six weeks till the Burning River 100 also in Ohio. Also very hot. This is a point-to-point -point race, so this one will be very hard for crew pacers, friends, family, anything like that to come. Six weeks after that is the Hallucination 100 up in Michigan. This one's right at the beginning of September. Looped course, six laps. That's not too cool. But the cool thing is that every time you come back around, it's basically like a Woodstock festival with like bands and music and camping. So that I've heard is basically just a big party. Five weeks after that is the finale, middle of October, Indiana Trail 100. That one's the closest to my house. So that'll be a cool one to finish off the Midwest Super Slam home turf, coming back to Indiana, finish it out. There's actually an option to do just the Midwest Grand Slam, which is the first four races, doesn't include the Indiana Trail 100, but I figure once you get to that point, as long as I'm not injured, why don't I just do the fifth one that's also the closest to my house, the one that I'm most familiar with. So that's it. 
Midwest Super Slam. I'm also gonna do a couple other uh, shorter races, you know, some 10Ks and 15Ks sprinkled in there. There's a 40 miler in April that I'm gonna do called the Glacial X. Glacial Esker. Glacial, yeah. Glacial Esker 40 miler. That one's up by Fort Wayne. Same course as the Indiana Trail 100. To finish off the season, I'll probably also do the Jackson County 50 miler in December, depending on how I feel, how recovery's gone, whether or not I'm healthy. 500 miler. First one, June 1st, Kettle Moray 100. June 15th, Mohican 100. July 27th, Burning River 100. September 6th, Hallucination 100. October 12th, Indiana Trail 100. Midwest Super Slam. <laughs> so the biggest thing here is gonna be recovery. Obviously, the gauntlet is gonna be the first two, two weeks apart. How in the heck are you supposed to do that? A lot of miles in the spring, like just really build up that durability. So I can go up to Wisconsin to Kettle Moraine and run a smart 100 and then come back, basically spend a week really working on my legs, getting them back to running shape. <laughs> Again, that's the gauntlet right there, those first two races. Also, Mohican, incredibly hot. You start off too quick in the morning, and that afternoon can just turn into a disaster. Get into the night, cool off, stay hydrated, keep eating, hopefully your stomach doesn't turn, all that stuff. Those first two races are gonna be crazy, then six weeks to recover to Burning River, but then that one's the point to point. Six weeks after that, Woodstock, or Hallucination. Five weeks after that, Indiana Trail finish it up. I'm very lucky to be on the Ultra Red team for this. Uh, super big help. I'm talking to a couple other companies right now who could possibly help out in other ways as well. If any of you out there have connections to like especially a nutrition or recovery type company, let me know. I'd love to start a conversation and team up with them this year because this is going to be insane. <laughs> I'm going to document the whole thing, uh, videos for each races, but then one of my goals is to put together like a big kind of documentary about the whole Midwest Slam as well. Probably won't have like cinematic videos on each race until the very end and then put together something really cool, long form, hour, hour and a half sort of thing uh, for free. As of right now, I have started talks with a few people about crewing and pacing, but if any of you guys out there would be up for crewing or pacing at any of these five races, that would be much appreciated and uh, it'll be fun to hang out. I'm trying to do this on the cheap so it'll be kind of in and out. One night in a tent on the front end of the race and then probably driving home right after. Try not to spend money on hotels if I don't have to because each of these races cost a couple hundred bucks to get into. Uh, just try and do this as cheap as possible. Oh yeah, um, I'm also trying to do all of these races in under 24 hours. <laughs> so just to put it in context, Grindstone had 23,000 feet of elevation gain Run Rabbit Run had 21,000 feet of elevation gain. These races average about 10 or less. Mohican has the most and it has almost 13,000, but then none of the others are even over 9,000. I've run 50 milers that have more elevation gain than four of these hundreds. So they're basically like flat Midwest hundreds rolling hills but that's gonna be hard because I've never done a hundred like that so I'm gonna be tempted to run a lot more I'm not gonna be training a whole lot of steep vertical I'm gonna be training a lot of speed I'm gonna be training a lot of stability exercises core exercises really working on durability two a days running in the mornings a lot also all of them I think or most of them are Western States qualifiers so I'll for sure get that as long as I finish one <laughs> None of them are hard rock qualifiers though. Hard rock qualifiers are good for two years, so run, rabbit, run. I'll be able to enter the lottery next year off of my 2018 finish. That just means that in 2020, I have to run a hard rock qualifier if I wanna keep my lottery going. The Western States should be able to knock that out this year, uh, get a qualifier for that. Okay, so I think that's it. I just wanted to kind of shoot straight with you guys, let you know what's going on. So that's it, basically in a nutshell, I wanted to do something that scared me and this scares the crap out of me. Like seriously right now, I'm debating whether or not I should just clear this memory card and... But no, I wanna do something that scares me. I want to do something that's hard, not all up front and in your face, but the theme of this channel 
has always been, we can do hard things. It's something that my wife and I tell our kids all the time. It's something that I truly believe in. I think doing hard things really helps you grow. It shapes you, it makes you a better person. That's something that I hope comes across in these videos that I'm just this regular guy from Indiana. And this year I'm gonna try and do something really, really freaking hard. <laughs> yeah. I want to do something that scares the crap out of me. So thanks for following along all of this time. Those of you that have been here since the beginning, those of you that just jumped on and subscribed recently, thank you for following along. This year is going to be intense. I just got a message from a race director asking me to go film his race coming up soon here. So that's gonna be happening. Starting off racing a couple smaller races and a 40 miler here in about like two months. June 1st, starting the Midwest Super Slam. It's gonna be nuts. Thank you for following along. Thank you for sticking with me. Tell me I'm crazy. I wanna do big things. I wanna do things that scare me. And I hope that by putting this all out there and on YouTube, that it encourages and motivates you to do the same thing. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's do this.